In this video I'm gonna show you how to fix Fortnite crashing or Fortnite not opening in season 10. So make sure that you watch the video till the end if you want to know how to fix it. Before we start I just want to say subscribe to my channel and like this video if it helps and also use my supporter creator code BoostedAnimalYT. And let's start. So the first step is to open up this PC. Go to local disk C or the drive where you have Fortnite installed at. Mine is at C. Open the program files folder. Open the Epic Games folder. Now open the Fortnite folder. Go to Fortnite game. Go to binaries. Go to Win64. Now open up the Easy Anti Cheat folder. And double click on Easy Anti Cheat Setup. Click on Yes. And now what you want to do is just click on Repair Service. This should take just a couple of seconds and there it is, it says installed successfully. And you can now close the Easy Anti Cheat Setup. The second step is to go back to the Win64 folder. Open up the BattleEye folder. And now simply just click on Uninstall BattleEye. It says would you like to uninstall the BattleEye service from your system. Click on yes. Click on yes again. And it says that the BattleEye service has been uninstalled. Click on ok. Now double click on install BattleEye. Click on yes. And that's it. But the BattleEye service has been installed on your PC. The third step is to simply go back to the Win64 folder again. Scroll down and find the four applications. What you want to do now is right click on the first one. Open up the properties. Go to the compatibility tab. And make sure that the disable full screen optimizations box is checked. So if it's unchecked what you want to do is check it. Check the run this program in compatibility mode for Windows 8. And you can also check the run this program as an administrator. Once you check it, click on apply and click on ok. Now do the same steps for the Fortnite Climb Win64 Shipping BE, Win64 Shipping EAC and the Fortnite Launcher. And now when you're done you can just close the Win64 folder. The fourth step is to simply open up the task manager. So you can do that by right clicking on the taskbar and open the task manager. And if when Fortnite crashes there is an error that pops up, what you want to do is simply find the process that is making Fortnite crash, find it, click on it, and click on end task. You can then close the task manager. The next step is to click on the search bar, type notepad, and open it. And now copy the command from the description. It should go like this, Windows Registry Editor version 5 and copy it and paste it in the notepad file. And now what you want to do is simply click on file, click on save as, click on desktop, name it fix.reg. So the name doesn't really matter as long as the extension is .reg. And then click on save and you can close the notepad file. Now double click on the new fix icon on your desktop. Click on yes. It says are you sure you want to continue. Click on yes again. And it says that the keys and values have been successfully added to the registry. And click on ok. The next step is to click on the search bar again. Type reg edit. And open the registry editor. Click on yes. Now go to HK local machine, so click on the arrow next to it, click on the arrow next to system, click on the arrow next to current control set, so it's the third one from the top, click on the arrow next to control, now go ahead and click on the arrow next to graphics drivers, let me just find it, it should be under G, ok, so there it is, now just click on graphics drivers, and what you want to do now is just delete TDR delay, right click on it and click on delete, click on yes and there it is. 
and you can now close the registry editor. The next step is to simply verify Fortnite and you can do that by opening the Epic Games Launcher or to simply just reinstall it and you can do that by clicking on the search bar, type add or remove programs, open it and now just scroll down and find the Epic Games Launcher, click on it and click on uninstall. And the last step is to click on the search bar again, type reset this PC and open it and it says that if your PC isn't running well resetting it might help this lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them and then reinstalls Windows if the last seven steps didn't work for you then this one will work for you hundred percent what you want to do is simply click on get started and if you can choose to keep my files and it will remove the apps and settings but will keep your personal files and you can choose to remove everything I, will, I would advise you to remove everything and just transfer your files onto a flash drive or onto another external hard drive etc and this will just reinstall everything on your PC it will make it clean and you can then just go ahead and download and install Fortnite again and it should work thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel like this video if it helped and also use my supporter creator code BoostedAnimalYT in the item shop. Thanks for watching again and bye.